Hey Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at new life predictions, so uh, you know who or what's coming in for you um, in terms of love and romance. These messages do remain general, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So I'll give the cards a shuffle here and see um, what love predictions, what new love predictions are coming in for you. Okay, we have the King of Swords here. Oh, the King of Swords, Temperance. The full card here. Three of Wands. Chariot and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you've got three out of six major arcana cards here. Okay, what's coming in in terms of uh, love and romance? I feel like there's definitely going to be some um, some movement here. There's definitely going to be some movement, some advancement, some progression when it comes to love and romance. So for those of you who have, you know, who found that your love um, your love life has been a little bit stale, a little bit stagnant lately. Um, get excited and get ready for some change. Get ready for some transformation. Get ready for some positive development. Get ready for some movement here. Now, let's begin with the, the king here, the king of swords. Okay, some of you, I feel like... This is someone who I feel like is very, um, he, he or she is very cool, is very controlled, and they, their emotions are very restrained. I don't know who this person is for you. It's a, some sort of connecting romantic energy. Um, I feel like either this person wants to come back here and wants to set something straight here. Or it could also um, be hinting to us that some of you, you need to, before you judge some sort of romantic situation here, you need to, you need to consider all possible consequences here. Or you need to consider leaving your emotions out of the judgment here and maintain um, rational thinking here. So there's someone around you who I feel like is going to be expressing themselves very bluntly, but it could also be you, right? It could be you. You might feel the need to communicate to someone, but I feel like it's very blunt um, it's very direct and very to the point. Um, some of you could also, I feel like there is, especially for those of you that are experiencing some sort of challenges, um, where you could be experiencing, you could find your relationship here or your romantic connection a little bit challenging here. And as a result, what's needed is um, communication here. I feel like you might need to change your communication style in order to get through the, through to this person or the two of you might need to start communicating a little bit better in order to allow your relationship to thrive here. Um, I did mention for others of you, I feel like, again, I, I feel like maybe this is like a past connecting energy. Maybe this is like a uh, someone from the past or someone who's around you, but I feel like they're, they're coming in with some very blunt communication. It feels like they've got something to get off their chest um, and it feels like... You may, this person may come across as a little bit, and I feel like that's what will shock you, because they come across as a little bit cold or distant, but they do have emotions. Underneath their icy um, exterior, they do have a heart, where you presume is an icebox here. They do have a heart, and maybe something that they say isn't all that bad, or you know, maybe they actually tell you that they love you, or they tell you that they see a future with you, and maybe that's what's going to shock you, because I feel like Yes, it feels very blunt, it feels very direct, it feels to the point, but it also feels like you didn't see it coming from them, from out of their mouth either. So that's really interesting. I don't know if this is a 
like an ex or I don't know if this is someone whom you're currently involved with and you just as you're about to quit on them or just as you're about to call it quits I feel like communication could really help salvage this connection here now with um temperance some of you I feel like have been really patient here you have been really patiently waiting for love and romance you've been patiently waiting you know for your turn your turn at um, happily ever after your turn at having that storybook romance that you've been wanting your turn at finding um, your soulmate here or a twin flame connection um, I'm seeing that there's some sort of alchemy here with temperance and the alchemy here is that there is a magic in the air and I feel like there is something here that's manifesting for you. It feels like it's coming in the form of a new beginning, of a new love, of a new relationship. It could also be your energy though. You could possibly be, for those of you who have been a little bit skeptical when it comes to love and finding the one, you could be proven wrong here. Because I feel like there is someone coming in towards you. Someone with an absolute um, beautiful energy, very light-hearted, very down well, down to earth in a way, but someone who I feel like is going to sweep you off your feet. So, for those of you that haven't uh, given up on love here, your patience is going to be rewarded and your patience is going to uh, finally pay off with temperance. Some of you are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Um, you're going to have to hold out a little bit longer because I do feel like there is someone coming in for you. Um, and I feel like there is a possible, there's like a lot of promising potential around this person, around this connection. But you're going to have to be a little bit patient because for some of you, this is a long distance relationship you could be in. You, so you could meet this person potentially online. For others of you, I feel like there's some sort of transformation that needs to happen. Again, the, the way in which you meet this person, um, the way in which the two of you will cross paths, there's some sort of al um, alchemy, there's some sort of magic to that. And it feels beautiful here. Um, temperance is a card that suggests like union and uh, infinity so for some of you I feel like before you actually enter into your next major relationship I do feel like there is someone here who sort of enters your life between then and this is someone who I feel like now this person is going to be very special I don't feel like they're going to stick around forever with the fool's energy because um, we all know that the fool is someone very light-hearted someone you know who's always in search of excitement and adventure. It's really hard to pin such an um, individual down. Um, but I feel like this person is going to either restore a faith in love for you, or it's going to awaken something inside of you. It's going to bring such a sense of excitement into your life that you're going to, that all of a sudden you're going to be reminded of what it is that you've been missing out on. So again, I feel like this person is, he or she will come into your life and you will enter into some sort of connection with this person, whether it's a relationship or whether it's you know a casual type of arrangement. You will experience some very um, memorable, a very memorable connection with this person. But they are not here to stay. They've got the fool's energy. They are not here to stay. Um, and I, this person has a non-committal type of energy. So it's not that they don't want commitment maybe they've been married in the past and they've had children and they've, they've done all of that and they're no longer they no longer want that okay maybe for for others of you this is someone who feels like a little bit emotionally infantile juvenile um whilst for others i feel like this person has a dis they're destined to tread a different path however you, the two of you are still destined to meet it's important for you to note that the two of you are still destined to meet this person comes into your life and they'll stay for a little bit uh, I'm going to describe him or her as someone with as someone very light-hearted. They've got a very playful, youthful um, energy or a very youthful look to them. So they're a lot younger than they actually are. Um, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of excitement. This person can be a little bit hard to be around with simply because they're like they're constantly switched on. They, you know, they're constantly on. They're constantly talking. They're constantly doing something here. Um, that could have uh, problems focusing as well but they always see the glass as half full better yet refillable they always look at the sunny side of things um, they've just got such a great warm energy they've got a lot of friends here everywhere they go they m make a lot of friends um, and you'll find that this person has a very big social circle around them they're very personable here it could be someone that you meet online, or it could be someone from a very different, um, like a different cultural background to you. 
But again, I don't see this person staying in your life for very long. But this relationship is very important. This relationship is very important because it's going to teach you some things about yourself or about love and relationships and partnerships in general. So don't discard it and don't discount or dismiss it. Now with the three of wands, some of you I feel like I did mention, you know, you're wanting, you've been thinking about long-term visions, okay, long-term plans here. You've been wanting to find the one, you're wanting to settle down, you're wanting love, romance, that storybook romance. And for the most part, you've been extremely patient. So I do see good positive developments that are coming in your way. But some of you, you're going to have to be that little bit more patient. For those of you that are especially involved in a long distance relationship, I see a lot of advancement and progression there. So things are moving along. You're building a very strong, reliable foundation here, which is very um, important, right? Um, I'm also seeing some of you, I feel like, notice how he's on the edge of a cliff, as is he. Some of you, you're on the edge of a precipice, so to speak. Um, that means that there is some sort of significant turning point that's happening to you in terms of your love and romance, um, your romantic department. There is something here that is happening for you. You can't escape fate, and this person is destined for you, or this thing is destined uh, for you. And again, I feel like it's, it's some sort of karmic justice because I feel like your patience here is being rewarded. And it's finally going to pay off. So whether it's a new love, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's a marriage, um, or whether it's you um, having a total different perspective on love, uh, having a total different outlook on love, um, whatever this is, let me tell you, it's fate, it's destiny, and you can't stop what's fated for you. Now, in terms of the chariot here, some of you, I, I get the message of picking a winner. Some of you, I feel like you've picked a winner. There's a romantic energy around you, and it feels like this is someone whom you're going to um, end up with. The chariot is also someone who moves in a positive direction here. Um, so some of you, I feel like I'm getting the message to keep going. Some of you have been struggling in love or relationships, marriages. Keep going, because there are obstacles or there have been obstacles. I feel like you're overcoming them. And for those of you that have had like I said, stalemate or stagnation, there's going to be a lot of movement with the chariot. The chariot also denotes success here. And notice, you know, the stars here, it's the it's the link to the divine, it's the link to um, fate and destiny. Um, you are the charity, and I feel like you are taking your life in a positive direction here. Some of you are really taking control of your love life. And some of you, I feel like you're really understanding what it is that you want when it comes to love, romance, relationships, marriages. Um, and you're ready to take action. Mm, just that message again, you need to... Some of you are taking back control, um, you're taking back the wheel, you've been sitting in the driver's seat of your life but you're finally taking back the wheel and whilst for others of you, some of you need to take your, your life back into your own hands. So you need to take control here is the message and you need to steer this baby with determination. Now the seven of pentacles, um, again I haven't, heard, I, I don't know what it is here guys but some of you, I feel like you're not being impatient. You're not being impatient. That's not the way I want to put it. But I do feel like you've been really patient, patiently waiting for something. But it's like this person or this thing can't happen or, you know, it's not happening soon enough. It's not manifesting soon enough. That's what it feels like for you. So it's like your patience is kind of running thin. thin. Again, I feel like there are so many things that are changing for you and there are so many things that are happening to you. It does feel like alchemy. It feels like magic. Um, because it's destined for you. Um, it's destined. You know, there's a lot of changes that are destined for you. And you're on the edge of something wonderful. You're on the edge of something very big. You can feel it and you're inching closer towards that kind of energy here. But you're still not quite there yet with the Seven of Pentacles. So it's just a reminder. You know, the Seven of Pentacles is all about like putting in the effort that you're putting in, you're not going to see rewards overnight. This is not that type of card. This is the type of card that speaks about long-term benefits. So there is something you've been thinking, there is something you've been thinking about, there is something that you've been wanting here to manifest, you know, to, to come to fruition here. It is happening for you, just probably not as soon as you want it to happen, 
but maybe the longer you wait the more value you know you're placing on this thing and the more appreciation you will ha you will have for this person you will have for this partnership or this marriage so there are good there are great positive wonderful developments that are happening for you they're not they might not happen as soon as tomorrow or the next week or you know the next month but it is happening for you all you have to do is keep the faith okay whoever it is that you pray to or whomever it is that you believe in whether it's god whether it's spirit um you know the divine um the cosmos the universe wh whomever it is that you that resonates with you continue that faith because i'm seeing you are being rewarded in a very abundant way and i'm not talking about material um rewards i'm talking about true love i'm talk talking about soulmate connections i'm talking about you know your whole perception on love shifting i'm talking about marriage partnerships you finally finding the one you're finally you know moving towards you're finally taking your life in the direction that you want it to go okay so just be a little bit more patient hang in there you're almost there and it's almost happening it's definitely manifesting for you. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Um, okay, guys, that's all I have for you. I just want to thank you all for watching and, listen and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I will be sharing with you more um, tarot love messages. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.